Part 2. Azure Moon. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Kingdom Army begins to invade Imperial territory. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. We have received a report from our spy. It would seem the Empire is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. This is undoubtedly in response to us taking the Great Bridge of Murden. Their numbers are more than double ours. We believe that the Emperor herself may be leading them. <gasps> if House Regan can reconcile with House Gloucester sooner than later, then Claude can proceed with his plan to rally the Alliance Lords gather troops and invade Empire territory. At this rate, three military forces will be clashing at Grander Field. If you wish to indulge in nostalgia, do it elsewhere. I'm afraid the difference in military strength is far from negligible. While we are elite soldiers, I am still uneasy about this. If possible, I'd like to request reinforcements right away. If we can rely on any of the major kingdom houses for military support, it would be House Karen, I'd wager. House Karen has yet to declare fealty to the Empire. It is also my home. I will make the request to my father. With things as they are, I don't think he can refuse. The Church has long protected me. I am certain that any request from the Church will be answered to the utmost of their ability. Very well. We're counting on you, Catherine. I suppose that is all we can do for now. So it would seem. Though if there are any other avenues worth exploring, I would suggest... Ah, good point. We have no reason to engage the Alliance directly. Even if we do receive Count Karen's aid, we still won't have the troops we need to face the Empire. But if we join forces with the Alliance, then our numbers will rival the Empire's. If we wait too long, we'll lose the advantage. For now, let's send a messenger and try to figure out what the Alliance hopes to achieve. It's hard to believe this decisive battle will take place at Grander Field. I imagine that place is full of memories for all of you. We won the Battle of the Eagle and Lion back in the day. It seems like a lifetime ago. I can't help but remember, even though I wish I didn't. Our feast after the battle, I remember it well. We all had so much fun together. No, please stop it. I had finally put all of that out of my mind. This isn't right. They're our friends. We used to study together. We shouldn't be fighting them. Why not march up to Her Majesty and remind her of that? Oh, that's right, because you want to live to see tomorrow. Tell me, Boar Prince, do we stand a chance? Who knows? If we lose, we'll have died for you. I hope you know that. That's enough, Felix. We must focus on the battle ahead. Make your peace before we depart. It's kill or be killed out there. We will cross blades with the Empire, but it's possible we will also have to strike down the Alliance. Your Highness, do you feel no hesitation about killing your former friends? I'm used to killing familiar faces by now.
Sylvain. Hey, Felix. I'm glad you're safe. You irresponsible fool! Protecting me like that? You're so weak and yet you always... always... Look, it doesn't matter. As long as you're safe. You can go on living. While I... Stop kidding around! You're not going to die. I won't let you! <laughs> nah, I won't die on you, I promise. You think something like this could kill me? No way. A little magic will take care of the wound. Some bed rest, then I'm good to go out and do it all over again. Sylvain? Oh, come on, that was funny. It's not like you to be so concerned. <sighs> you really are a fool. The biggest in all of Fodlin. I thought something was off. There's no way you could die from such a small cut. You're so reckless and inattentive. I thought this might be divine punishment. Hey, that's not nice. You should be thanking me. I am grateful. You've been doing this since we were children. Constantly fooling around, but then showing up and helping when we really need you. I'll admit, seeing that smile on your face, I almost want to give you a hug. Almost. A hug? Did you get hit on the head? Come on. Tell me you want to hug me again. I liked it. I won't be repeating it, you halfwit. You're obviously fine, so I'll leave now. You know how we grew up together? <sighs> obviously. Do you remember the promise we made when we were kids? About sticking together until we die together? I remember. Well, I'm really not trying to get myself killed before you. You know that, right? I know. I know. But I'm tired of these close calls. You have to stop fooling around. Take your training more seriously. You can die whenever you please, but I'm not going down with you. Okay, I get it. Once I've healed, I'll get my act together. <laughs> then I hope you have a speedy recovery. Sylvain, thank you. That's what friends are for, Felix. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. A flash, and then a big boom. If you blow up the library, where will we put the books? A flash, and then a big boom! Ah! What are you doing here, Felix? I heard singing. You were watching me again, weren't you? <laughs> well, your skill is impressive, I'll admit. Well, today of all days. I knew I should have chosen a different song. A different song? Like what? <sighs> Any of them. The box song, or maybe the dungeon song? Now those sound interesting. No, they're just regular songs. Uh, forget it. <sighs> While you're here, can you help me clean up? I need the books on that shelf up there, but I can't reach them. Oh, sure, no problem. What, you're not going to sing anymore? No way! It's too embarrassing. And that song isn't even finished anyway. Ah, that's too bad. I wanted to hear what happened after the library was blown away. Hey, don't look at me like that. Okay, fine. If you insist, I'll sing just a bit more. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. A flash, and then a big boom. Suddenly the deed is done. My, what a great job I did. Who says cleaning isn't fun? Huh. That doesn't really explain what happened with the library. Maybe they'll build a new one? <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. Hello, Felix. Training alone again, I see. Spying on me again, I see. 
It is not my intention to spy. I am merely concerned about you. I do not think you have been keeping your friends at a distance because you dislike them personally. Rather, I think what bothers you is their concept of proper knighthood. Is that not so? <laughs> you really have been watching me closely. You are correct. I don't understand why they revere knighthood. I won't be friends with anyone who believes in that nonsense. Do you feel that way because of what happened in the tragedy of Dusker? I have heard the story. Your brother was one of the royal knights. He gave his life to defend the prince. My brother was doing his job. My father is the real problem. When my brother's armor was brought back to the castle, do you know what he said? He died like a true knight. Chivalry begets the worship and glorification of death. Am I alone in finding that grotesque? <laughs> I suppose you'll excommunicate me for blaspheming like this. Not at all. I am not a knight, so I have no intentions of lecturing you about chivalry. So long as one's conduct is consistent with the teachings of the goddess, it is up to the individual to decide right from wrong. In that case, I'd like you to formally pardon me for not having friends. You require no such pardon. This is merely advice from an old man to a younger one. As unwavering as your convictions may be, the others also feel strongly about their beliefs. If you hate all those whose beliefs are different from yours, you will hate everyone eventually. People with exactly the same beliefs as you simply do not exist. You do not have to change your beliefs, of course. But you do have to accept that others feel differently. That is my advice to you. I will speak no more of it. Sedith, can I ask one thing? Why are you going out of your way to tell me this? Why bother with me at all? Because I trust you. Now that I've heard what you have to say, I trust you even more. I am also a rather eccentric person. I thought you and I might get along. I see. You've gone to so much trouble, I may have to start making an effort as well. Good. Do not take this the wrong way, but I hope you will surpass my expectations. <laughs> I could use a hand. Thank 
Max. I'm glad I asked you. Word just reached me that the Empire has stationed soldiers in Fort Mercius. If they decide to dig in their heels and defend the fort, we'll be in a difficult situation. I hear it's an impregnable keep, surrounded by high ramparts. Taking it would not be easy. The next battle might take us to Grounder Field. Is that right? Reminds me of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. But of course, that was a very different time. When it was over, all three class heads complimented each other on their bravery. And then we had a party. But we can never go back to that, can we? I'm getting the hang of this. I have some experience with cooking. I am sure I can aid you in the kitchen. Let me consider. How the meal tastes affects the morale of the troops. An army marches on its stomach. I like seeing a table full of my favorite dishes. This is my favorite dish. like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. This is nearly as delicious as Mother's... Say we do manage to take down Edelgard here. What do you think His Highness will do next? As long as there's a plan, I won't complain. I just, you know, want to know there is a plan. Yeah. I suppose that's the most likely plan, since we're traveling with the church and everything. I suppose we should focus on the battle right in front of us, instead of what happens later.
As powerful as our knights are, we're outnumbered by a long shot. And this won't be easy. It's crazy to attempt this. I guess I'm crazy to go along with it. I'm getting the hang of this. Good, but I'm loud. Singing's I'm getting the hang of this. Hey, you. we press forward, our search for Rhea broadens to a wider area. I certainly hope we will find at least some clue. But I do suspect I already know where she is. If I'm right, and she isn't... It's weirdly soothing watching you just shovel it right in there. What's with the appetite today? None of your business. I can't help it, okay? Everyone gets hungry after exercise. That was challenging. I appreciate your guidance. Wow, I seem to be on a roll. Everything went pretty well today. Everything went pretty well today. It's starting to feel like a part of me. I think I got the hang of it. I think I got the hang of it. I think... I would like to do this again. I have done it! Well worth the effort. No need to discontinue with the praises. All thanks to your help. All thanks to you. Can't say I'm surprised. Go on, sing my praises again. Thanks for the tips. Let's do this again. You're a good professor. You're a good professor.
question. As good a reason as any. try so hard. This time it's my turn to pull us through. Incorrect. It is my turn. And it shall be my turn next time as well. Your role here is to wait in the shade. Oh no, that just won't do. It will be much better if we work together. <laughs> Observe, Professor. Who but we two could come close to such results? We finished our work so quickly today. It's all thanks to Constance, I'm sure of it. Practice is paying off. I'm getting the hang of it. Could be useful. I must continue to work hard.
piece of cake. I'm in. What's my strategy? What's the plan? I'd be honored. I'll comply. I'm your girl. I'll cut through. Shall we? Sunshine. They were sure to perish. But it's you or me. What's my strategy? This could turn the tides. There is still room for improvement. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm in. 
Step aside. Give the goddess my regards, yeah. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. Watch this. That's gonna hurt. Amazing what a little bloodshed can do. I'm impressed. What's the plan? See you in the eternal flames. I understand this better now. Never doubted you. I'm your girl. It had to be done. Wait, that's it? I'll cut through. <laughs> It was meant to be. Sunshine. I assume a stray arrow finished it. I have grown marginally stronger. I'd be honored. Shall we? Time to die, pal. You're fresh out of luck. I shall know how you died here. I've got you! It was the only way. Expect any sympathy. <sighs> Hardly worth mentioning. Just stronger. I must steal myself. I'll keep moving forward. Once I've decided you're done, you're done. my duty.
Without power, who can you protect? I assume a stray arrow finished it.